Hi everyone, I'm Kristen from Talk to the Hand Mamas and I just wanted to talk to all of you about ways that you can increase some joint attention with your child and joint sharing and just get them to attend to you as much as possible. Once again, it is Halloween so please ignore the backdrop behind me, but you know what, I'm working with what I've got since I am a mama of three children and I'm recording this video as my husband is putting my four-year-old to bed and the two twins are already asleep. Thank you. Um, so let's get into this. Again, I'm gonna be showing you some techniques on joint attention, watchfulness, just sharing overall engagement. This is a question that comes up a lot with some of the kids I work with and the parents ask me all the time, how do I connect with my kid? How do I engage? It seems like it should be second nature, but when you have a child who is not attending to you, it can be hard. I just wanted to show you a few video clips with my own children on ways that you can increase joint attention through simple tickle games, songs, little things like that. One of the key things you're gonna to wanna to think about is being face to face with your child. These techniques are only gonna work obviously if you're sitting across from your child. That's how you're gonna get that engagement. You're gonna to try to get a lot of interaction face to face so that you can build that excitement, build that attention so that they get excited to interact with people. This is especially helpful if you have a child on the autism spectrum. This is one of the first things I will teach a lot of parents so I hope that some of these techniques will help you. One thing I do a lot is I vary the rate of my speech. So sometimes I'll talk really, really fast to get their attention and then I'll slow down. Sometimes those small variations can get them to attend a lot quicker. You'll also see me using some silly voices. So I'll do a lot of talking really big spider, things like that, and then I'll go, it's a little tiny mouse. So changing your voice can make a child attend a lot quicker too. So you're gonna think about rate of speech, you're gonna think about changing the pitch of your voice. having a child look at you and slowly making them anticipate and seeing how long you can stretch that piece out because that's one of the key things to build what we call watchfulness and making a child attend to you for longer and longer period of times and waiting for reinforcement. So peekaboo, that's a great example of waiting. Another thing, you know, if you do tickle games, you're like, I'm gonna get you. So seeing how long you can kind of stretch out that anticipation until you go and tickle the kid. Instead of going right away and doing quick spurts, you want to see if you can stretch that even longer and go slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, so do Lucy, ready? <laughs> There's a spider on your arm, on your arm. There's a spider on your arm. There's a spider on your arm. Oh, don't be alarmed. There's a spider on your arm. Now there's a spider on your stomach, on your stomach. There's a spider on your stomach, on your stomach. Oh, there's a silly spider on your stomach. There's a spider on your stomach. There's a spider on your stomach, on your stomach. Ready? Let's 
turn. Ready? Inside. You want to watch Adam? Yeah. Get ready? Round and round the garden with the teddy bear. One step, two step. One thing you'll see me doing a lot of in my video clips is showing a lot of variation in my facial expression. So I might be really sad at one point, really surprised or excited, and then I'll be really mad and I make it silly with my... I'll also do this because a lot of the kids I work with who are on the autism spectrum have a negative feeling towards what we call negative emotions, such as sad, mad, scared. They almost are afraid to express those emotions, and by me making games with those emotions, I kind of take away some of that fear and teach them that it's okay to feel that way, and I think it's such a positive experience. Uh... <laughs> space to move. I'm not going to show examples of this, but you can slowly creep up on your child and pretend you're going to get them and then give them a massive tickle fest at the end. That's just another great way to kind of get that watchfulness and that engagement. So again, the goal is to try to stretch that amount of anticipation out as long as possible to increase that overall watchfulness and joint attention. It's a very important skill to teach kids, especially when they're having a hard time attending. It's a big barrier to learning if, when they cannot attend to you and they don't have that social engagement. So that's one of the first things I will work on as a speech therapist and with my parents and my clients, especially on the autism spectrum, as I'll work on building that anticipation and so that they can attend to me for longer and longer periods of time. And then slowly we get to start jumping into other therapeutic techniques, which is really, really fun. So I encourage all of you to try these techniques and let me know if you have any questions. Please feel free to like and subscribe. We are also on Instagram and on Facebook at Talk to the Hand Mamas. And I encourage all of you to put any videos that you would like to see in the future in the comments below. And my sister and I will make every effort to make a video on that as well. All right, thank you everyone. Talk to the hand.